Welcome to our latest video on the SCP Foundation's anomalous objects, specifically SCP-7380 through SCP-7384. These items possess unique and potentially dangerous properties that have been contained by the SCP Foundation for the safety of humanity. In this video, we will be discussing the characteristics and containment procedures for each of these anomalous objects. So sit back, relax, and join us as we dive into the mysterious world of the SCP Foundation. SCP-7380 is a humanoid entity that appears to be a middle-aged man of average build. The entity's anomalous property is its ability to manipulate the perception of necessity. SCP-7380 is able to convince individuals that certain actions or events are necessary for their survival regardless of whether or not they are actually necessary. SCP-7380's manipulation of necessity is not limited to verbal communication, as it is able to convey this sense of necessity through non-verbal cues and even through writing. The entity's manipulation is also not limited to a specific group of individuals, as it is able to affect individuals of all ages, genders, and cultural backgrounds. SCP-7380 was first discovered by the Foundation after reports of a mysterious guru who was convincing individuals to participate in dangerous and self-destructive behavior. Upon investigation, it was discovered that SCP-7380 had been living among a small community, convincing its members to participate in a cult-like group that believed in the necessity of self-sacrifice for the greater good. SCP-7380's manipulation of necessity is not limited to small groups or individuals, as it has also been observed to affect larger populations. In one instance, SCP-7380 convinced the small town that it was necessary to sacrifice a member of their community in order to appease a supposed deity, and ensure the safety and prosperity of the town. SCP-7380's ability to manipulate the concept of necessity is not absolute, as individuals who are aware of its abilities are able to resist its manipulation to a certain extent. However, SCP-7380's manipulation becomes more effective in situations where individuals are under stress or experiencing a crisis, as they are more susceptible to believing that certain actions are necessary. SCP-7381 is a Thaumiel-class object consisting of a simple stainless steel kitchen knife. The knife appears to be completely ordinary in every respect, with no markings or engravings, and no unusual properties detected through any known means of analysis. However, when used to cut any form of plant matter, the knife has the effect of removing all known forms of anomalous properties from the affected material. Testing has shown that this effect extends to not just the physical properties of the plant, but also any cognitohazardous or mimetic effects it may possess. SCP-7381 was recovered by the Foundation during a raid on a group of interests known for the development of anomalous plant-based weapons. Analysis of recovered documents revealed that the group had been attempting to create a superweed capable of spreading rapidly and indiscriminately, but had been unable to fully stabilize the anomalous properties of their subjects. The Foundation has successfully used SCP-7381 in several containment breaches involving anomalous plant life, as well as in the neutralization of several anomalous potential mechanical weapons developed by various groups of interest. SCP-7381 has proven to be an asset in the containment and neutralization of anomalous plant life, and as such has been assigned a Thaumiel classification. Due to the nature of its effect, precautions must be taken to prevent accidental exposure of anomalous plant life, as well as to prevent unauthorized use or duplication of SCP-7381. In the event of a containment breach involving anomalous plant life, field personnel are authorized to use SCP-7381 for neutralization of the threat. SCP-7381 should be stored in a standard secure locker when not in use, and all personnel handling SCP-7381 must be properly trained in its usage and protocols. In addition, regular testing of SCP-7381 is required to ensure that no anomalous properties have developed or attached to it over time. SCP-7382 is a majestic species of tiger with flowing bioluminescent hair covering its body. It stands at approximately 1 meter tall and 3 meters long, weighing an estimated 450 kilograms. These entities tend to roam together and the Foundation is currently in possession of a small family of these impressive beasts. The glowing and colorful sections of SCP-7382's coat generate natural antimicrobial properties, which have been found to be highly effective against a wide range of pathogens and bacteria. Samples of SCP-7382's hair and skin have been used to develop a variety of medical treatments and supplements, and ongoing research aims to utilize these properties to create new medications to combat diseases and infections. SCP-7382 was discovered in Oregon by a local hunting party who reported encountering a group of magical cats in the area. Foundation agents were dispatched to investigate and locate the creatures, and they were subsequently contained and brought to Site-52 for study and observation. SCP-7382's behavior is typically docile and non-violent, and it does not display any aggression towards humans or other animals unless provoked. It is primarily active during the night and will often spend the daylight hours sleeping in a den or cave. Despite its majestic appearance and docile nature, Foundation personnel are reminded that SCP-7382 is still a wild animal and should be treated as such. 
all personnel are advised to exercise caution when approaching or handling the creature and to follow established safety protocols at all times. SCP-7383 is a smart device of unknown origin known as the Diphonex. It is capable of making calls to any phone number in the world, and once a call is picked up, the person on the other end will be killed instantly. The phone is voice activated, and can make calls to multiple numbers at once, allowing it to potentially kill large numbers of people in a short period of time. SCP-7383's object class is Apollyon, denoting its extreme danger and potential for mass destruction. It is currently stored in a secure containment chamber at all times, and access to it is restricted to site leads with approval directly from the O5 Council. Any attempts to tamper with the phone or use it for any purpose including study or testing are strictly prohibited. SCP-7383's anomalous properties become active when an individual speaks into the phone giving a command to call a specific individual or group of individuals. Once the command is given, the phone will initiate the call and any person who picks up the phone will be instantly killed, regardless of their location or the device they are using. The method of death is currently unknown, as all attempts to study the phone's effects on living organisms have been met with failure. SCP-7383 has been the subject of a few tests where it was used to call a small group of people and the results of these tests were catastrophic. All individuals who picked up the call died instantly, and their bodies were found to have no apparent cause of death. SCP-7383's range is not limited by distance, and it can call any phone number in the world. The user does not have to know the phone number of the individual they wish to call as the user can use a command such as call Stacy from work or call the captain of the local college football team and the device will intuitively know which number the user wishes to call. It is also capable of calling a group of numbers by giving a command like call all phones in France, allowing it to potentially kill large numbers of people in a short period of time. This makes SCP-7383 one of the most dangerous SCP objects in existence, and all precautions must be taken to ensure it is not used for any malicious purposes. The actual device was developed using recovered advanced alien technology by none other than the Foundation's notorious Dr. Dan, an insufferable and overly emotional SCP researcher whose big-picture approach to morality has led to the death or injury of countless test subjects. However, the doctor claims he did not create this weapon of mass destruction intentionally, as he intended to create a device that could simply call any phone number using voice commands. The goal was to enable Foundation personnel to communicate with any person of interest at any time. Tragically, the initial tests of SCP-7383 resulted in the immediate death of the groups of individuals called. There appeared to be no cause of death, and Dr. Dan could provide no explanation for why the device behaved the way it did. One theory suggests that a rogue researcher installed a malignant artificial intelligence on the device in order to sabotage the Foundation. SCP-7383 is not able to be destroyed and is immune to all forms of damage, including EMPs and acid. The only way to contain it is to keep it in a secure containment chamber at all times and ensure access to it is strictly controlled. Any attempts to tamper with or use it for malicious purposes will result in severe consequences. SCP-7384 is a large, rectangular mirror that measures approximately 2 meters by 1 meter. The mirror frame is made of an unknown wood that has not been found to exist naturally on Earth. SCP-7384 was discovered in a remote temple in the Amazon rainforest by a team of explorers. The temple had been abandoned for centuries, and the mirror was found at the center of a ritual chamber. Upon discovery, the mirror emitted a faint glow and several members of the exploration team reported feeling a sense of unease or dread in its presence. SCP-7384 has several anomalous properties. The first and most notable is that any living organism that looks into the mirror will see a reflection of their own deepest fears and desires. These reflections will appear to be completely real and can range from harmless phantoms to terrifying monsters. Additionally, objects or creatures seen in the reflection can be made real if the person viewing the mirror concentrates on the reflection for a prolonged period of time. SCP-7384 is also highly addictive, as any person that looks into the mirror will be compelled to continue doing so, despite the dangerous consequences. The mirror's reflections become more vivid and convincing with each viewing, making it increasingly difficult for the viewer to look away. Prolonged exposure to the mirror can result in severe psychological trauma, hallucinations, and eventually, death. SCP-7384 is classified as Euclid due to the potential danger of its abilities. The mirror is to be kept in a sealed chamber at all times and only personnel with level 2 clearance or higher are allowed to view it. Any experimentation with SCP-7384 must be conducted with extreme caution and under the direct supervision of at least one level 3 personnel. Any person who has viewed the mirror is to be immediately administered a Class B amnestic and placed in psychiatric observation for a minimum of 72 hours. SCP-7380 through SCP-7384 are a series of anomalous objects with unique properties and abilities. Overall, the SCP Foundation has been successful in containing these objects, but researchers have warned that constant monitoring and maintenance is necessary to ensure their continued containment. We hope this video has provided you with a better understanding of these fascinating and mysterious SCP objects. 
please like and subscribe to our channel for more content about the anomalous entities contained by the SCP Foundation.